We do start tonight in Texas, and many questions remain right now in the investigation into the mass shooting at that elementary school. Many are wanting to hear from this man, Pete Arredondo, the chief of the Uvalde School District's police. Now, he ultimately made the call not to go into that classroom immediately. Joining us now, News Nation's Robert Sherman. And Robert, we just learned that students and staff at Robb Elementary will not be going back into that building. That's right, Nicole. That's information we learned just a few moments ago that come fall time, students, faculty, staff members will not be going into the building that's right behind us, will not be working here at Robb Elementary. They say they're going to try and use other schools in the districts to find a short-term solution. That statement from the school district also says, tells us what we already know, that there are a lot of unanswered questions here and people in the community desperate for a few of those answers. The biggest piece of criticism that we've seen down here has been revolving around the law enforcement response, specifically the decision to not go inside that classroom that the gunman was holed up behind and instead wait for backup to arrive. That decision, Texas DPS says, was made by this man, Pete Arenado, who is the chief of the school district's police force. He was also the incident commander who was on site there. You talk to a lot of people, that's the question that they want answered. Why exactly was the decision made to not immediately go into the classroom, uh, the, the door that there were children behind? Well, a, one news organization did catch up with Arnado earlier today and asked him this question, and he said, quote, we're going to explain our decision eventually, obviously, and whenever this is done, and we'll let the families quit grieving, then we'll do that, obviously. And just so everybody knows, we've been in contact with Texas DPS every day. But that contradicts what Texas DPS told us just yesterday. A statement from them reads that the chief of police for CISD, that's Arnado, has yet to respond to the Rangers' request for a follow-up interview that was made a couple of days ago. So there's a lot of back and forth going on down here, Nicole, as to whether everyone is cooperating, whether everyone is not cooperating. It is also worth mentioning that Pete Arenado was duly elected to be a member of the Uvalde City Council. He was just sworn in without a ceremony last night. Nicole? Yeah, yeah people still looking for so many answers in all this. All right, Robert, thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.